Well, hello to you nice people. This is Shamim and welcome to the fourth episode of Esfahan Playlist in Iran Trip channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Now, this video is not going to be as long as the last ones. It's going to be a bit shorter, but it's going to be really fun. And there's this boulevard that I was planning on to show you. You may have heard of it. It's called Charbok Avenue. It's really popular between the locals and the tourists. And I really didn't want to skip it because there's not much to see, but it's really beautiful. Now, I'm not gonna talk too much about this place because it's more of an aesthetic place. You should see it and you should enjoy it and that's it. But before that, I'm gonna just talk about its history a little bit to introduce you what it really is and why it was built and then I can show you around and we can wander about uh, the whole avenue to see what we find so without any further ado let's get into it Charbagh is basically uh, a boulevard, a really long, big boulevard, and it literally means um, four gardens together in English. Uh, and if you have seen my last video, it was about Naqshah Jahan Square, and I talked a whole about like Safavid era and why it was so important in the history of Isfahan. It was the time that Isfahan really bloomed, you know? And there are some really cool masterpieces in this era that were made when King Abbas I was ruling here. And this place, Chaharbak Boulevard, is another masterpiece that was made in uh, his reign when he was ruling. So there's a really fun saying uh, that some people say, I really don't know if that's true, but some people say that in some ways this place, Chaharba, is so much uh, like Champs Elysees in Paris. And some people say that here uh, is actually the Champs Elysees of Esfahan. So this place was considered a really important place back then, you know, because uh, it connected the northern part of the city to the southern part because it's really long. It's a really long street. It's almost six kilometers long and it's so big that it's actually divided in three whole parts and every part, every section has a unique name for itself. The first section of this boulevard, this avenue, is called Charbok Pine, which literally means lower Charbok. It's the northern part of this place and you could check that out. We are not in Charbok Pine right now. We are in Charbok Abbasi, which is uh, the middle part, the middle section of this place. The last part, the last section, is called Charbok Bala, which means the upper Charbok. And that's really cool too. And you could check that out too. Uh, I'm not planning on to show you like Charbok Pine and Charbok Bala because they're not so special, they're like uh, normal streets, but here, here is really beautiful. And you should come and see this place because it's really unique. And I think it's fair to compare it with like, I don't know, with like 
Champs-Elysees. order some coffee some takeaway coffee from this really cool van <laughs> which serves coffee and stuff because I really need some caffeine for now uh, because I'm so very tired آرامش اگه میشه و یه دونه آیسلت همینجا الان باید حساب کنم So, here it is. Cheers! So that was it for this video. It was nothing so special, but the whole street is like really cool for hanging out, for, for, for having a walk, having some dessert or a coffee or something. It's a nice place for, for chilling and relaxing and stuff. And wait for the next video that I'm gonna upload next week uh, which is gonna be about Chehel Sotun no spoilers or anything but wait for it I'm gonna see you soon next week and bye bye